Hey guys, I'm doing my May Birch Box video, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. And the first thing that I saw when I opened up this month's Birch Box was this card. And basically, throughout May, Birch Box is supporting the Fashion Targets Breast Cancer Charity. So basically, what that means is um, they give you a um, personalized URL link and basically for every friend that you refer that signs up to Birchbox in May, Birchbox is going to donate £5 to the Fashion Targets Breast Cancer Charity which I think is really great. So if you are thinking of subscribing, this month is the perfect month to do it and I will leave a link below if you do want to sign up. So that's that. So now on to what is actually in the birch box. So when I opened up my birch box this month, I was very pleased with the items that I got. So the first thing is this mini OPI nail polish. And the only thing with mini OPI nail polishes in particular is they don't put on the bottle what the name of the colour is, which I guess is kind of hard to do because some of their names can be very long and there's not really a lot of space on the bottle to write that. Um, but I kind of checked the card and I checked in the Birchbox magazine and they didn't list any of the colours. So um, I can't say for certain what this is, but when I saw this it looked very, very familiar to me. So I searched through my stash and I found this nail polish that I already owned and this is Dutch Just Love OPI which I believe came out in the spring collection last year and um, I will just compare these two for you. They are very very similar so I would say it is the same colour, it has the exact same purple tone, it has the exact same kind of rose gold kind of shimmer running throughout it so I would say they are the same colour. So I have a little mini one which is always handy for travel and touch-ups and things like that if I happen to paint my nail that colour. Um, so I got that. And I'm not sure if all the birch boxes contained this same colour or if they had a range of different colours that they mixed up throughout the birch boxes. So if you receive birch box, comment below and tell me what shade or what sort of colour you receive because I'd be interested to know. But yeah, that was that. And the card, I'll just read out what the card says. It says, for a red carpet worthy money, just paint on this gorgeous colour from the iconic nail brand between a base coat and a top coat. Easy. Full size is £11.50. The next product in my birch box is the Elemental Herbology Cell Plumping Facial Hydrator with SPF 8. Um, this smells kind of familiar to me, but I can't put my finger on what it smells like. I can't even really describe the scent, but I tried a little bit of this on the back of my hand when I first opened it up, and it felt kind of cooling and tingly almost, so I'm interested to see how this feels on my face. But I was kind of reading through the ingredients to see if I could figure out what... Um, scent it is that I can smell or what it is that it reminds me of and I'm still not sure but this as I was reading the ingredients it has a lot of good natural ingredients or um, ingredients that are derived from 100% natural source so that's a really great thing if you're into your more natural skincare this might be something you're interested in. So the card says this concoction of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals and ultra hydrating botanicals boost and plump the skin's appearance and texture and a full size of this is £42. So not necessarily something that I would be interested in just yet but I like that it has an SPF 8 and I think this will be just a nice um, day moisturiser. I'm actually starting to run out of my day moisturiser so once I run out of that I will switch to this and I will let you guys know my thoughts on that. Next is the Batitude body souffle. I hope I'm saying that right. It's kind of a B, then a slash, and then attitude, so I'm saying it attitude. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's basically just a really thick body moisturiser. The packaging is really cute. It's kind of 70s looking to me. I don't know, just something about it to me says 70s. But um, I've actually tried this on my arms this morning, and to begin with, I like the scent. It's kind of, um, kind of like a man's aftershave kind of scent which initially I really liked. It's kind of a little bit warm and it has a kind of spice to it. Not like a full spice, it's not like cinnamon or anything but it has a kind of spice to it. It definitely smells like a man. So if you're more of a girly girl and you like sweet sugary girly scents you probably won't like the scent of this but um, I quite liked it initially but it's now starting to make me feel a little bit queasy. I don't know if it's because I've applied too much of it but basically this is what it looks like. It's just a really thick body souffle um, and this will last me quite a while, so, um, because <laughs> I think I mentioned in one of my empties videos, I don't tend to go through moisturiser that quickly, so this will actually last me quite a while. And particularly with the strong scent, I think I'll only want to use a little bit of it at a time. But um, it does feel really nice and moisturising, so I'll read you what the card says. Known for their London restaurant Buddha Bar, and with a spa in Paris, Batitude's divinely scented skincare treat nourishes and absorbs easily. Ready your limbs for your red carpet moment. 
full size of this is £24. So I definitely agree that it absorbs easily, it feels moisturising, um, I'm just not sure on the scent, I'm kind of on the fence about the scent, because um, like I said initially I really liked it and now it's starting to make me feel just a little bit queasy, so um, if you're really sensitive to scents you may not like this, but that's that. Next is the Enhanced Shimmer Lip Gloss from Make Believe, which is a full-size lip gloss, so we have another full-size makeup item which I'm really happy about. So this is what the product looks like, it's a kind of peachy pink, really shimmery lip gloss. Basically Make Believe do um, fake tanning products and they also have a makeup range of products that are designed to kind of enhance your tan. So. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it today. It's kind of more of a clear gloss with a ton of shimmer, um, but I really like it. It's really nice. So that's that, and it's full size as well, which is really good. So the card says Makeup Range by Tanning Experts Make Believe has us smitten. Each item enhances your natural or safely assisted tan for that big event, whatever your skin tone. And this full size is £7.50. So that's a nice sized. Um, product £7.50 and you know that's almost how much you've paid for your birch box so I'm happy about that. So they were the main bulk of the birch box and now there's just a couple of extras so the beauty extras is um, a Dr. Duvet? Duvet? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, medical skincare it's an anti-aging and firming eye cream with growth factors and hyal hyaluronic acid so there's just a couple of sachets here which I know I've said before that I'm not keen on little sachets in birch boxes because there's not enough product to really um, give the product a fair try and really see if it's going to work or if you like it to then know if you want to purchase it full size but it's an eye cream there's two sachets and obviously an eye cream you're not going to need much um, at a time so each sachet should last you a good while and I'm also actually starting to run out of my eye cream as well so these little sachets will come in handy to tide me over until I purchase a another eye cream I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one when I tell you how much it is but I'll just read you what the card says it says a skincare heavyweight to tackle all your skin concerns around the eyes this will boost skin moisture levels reduce puffiness and activate collagen production so it's supposed to be a really good product it's going to help reduce dark circles and um, and any puffiness that you might get and help to reduce and prevent any wrinkles and fine lines around your eyes but full size it's 115 pounds so another expensive skincare item like the Gerdes Filmin anti-aging serum in the last birch box but it's still nice to receive little things like this because um, I wouldn't get to try it otherwise because there's no way I'm going to spend 115 pounds on an eye cream so it's still nice to be able to try it and see what it's like and just kind of give my skin an extra treat um, because I wouldn't normally be able to so that's that and then the last item in this month's birch box is a lifestyle extra and it's the Cosme Tea Detox um, which is basically just a detox tea it says it has mate which I've never heard of green tea and lemongrass um, so I will just read you what the card says it says, this healthy tea rids your body of pent-up toxins, boosts your energy and lowers your stress levels. Perfect for pre-event nerves. And full size, this is 13.85. So this is nice. I do like tea. I tend to stick to my lemon green tea from Tetley's. That's kind of what I always purchase. But I do, I am interested in trying this and seeing what it's like. It has green tea in it. Um, and it just sounds like it's supposed to be very good for you and at the moment I've been kind of getting stressed and anxious about things obviously you guys know that I'm um, going to be moving house soon if you saw my last vlog video so um, I'm kind of a big ball of stress and nerves at the moment so I'm hoping this will help calm me down and just detox my system I've kind of had a few um, health issues recently as well so I'm hoping that this might kind of calm everything down and just detoxify me and make everything better again. So that was everything that I got in this month's Birch Box and I'm actually really pleased with everything and kind of keen to try everything. Obviously the OPI Nail Polish, I already own this colour in full size so I'm probably not going to be busting this open just yet and it's kind of more of a full colour to me um, so I'm probably not going to be um, using this anytime soon but it's nice to have but everything else I'm really keen to try and I'll probably start trying to mix it into my everyday routines pretty soon because yeah I'm just really keen to try everything basically and I'm hoping it works well like I said the um, body souffle I've tried this morning and I'm not sure if I'm keen on the scent 
kind of certain men's aftershaves make me feel a bit queasy because um, when I was younger and my family would go on holiday or we'd go on like a long road trip or something my dad always wears kind of quite a lot of aftershave and I get car sick so I guess kind of somehow in my memory um, those two things are linked like strong men's aftershave and travel sickness so now when I smell things like this it just makes me feel a bit queasy um, I'm strange like that but yeah basically um, I'm not sure about the scent but if you if that doesn't affect you if you like the kind of male aftershave kind of scent and strong scents don't bother you then you'll probably like this because it does feel nice and moisturizing and it's fully absorbed into my skin it doesn't feel sticky or tacky or anything at all on my skin so it's all fully absorbed already and my skin feels nicely moisturized so um, yeah, if you want to see any reviews on any of these things, I've started trying to do some more of my 5 minute reviews, so I can always do a 5 minute review on any of these items if you are interested, so leave a comment below if you want me to do a review on any of this stuff, and also make sure you check out the link below if you did want to subscribe to Birchbox, um, particularly this month because you're going to be helping a great cause as well. So I hope you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!